Hello Internet, here's a quick tip. Uh, when using gizmos in Unity, there's not always a, an obvious way to, to say, indicate like the rotation of a cube, for example. Uh, and when you're actually working with these, it, there isn't a really good obvious answer on how to actually make these cubes rotate. You can make them rotate, uh, it's just not always straightforward. And there's a few other cool things that happen when you actually implement this. Uh, so. This is sort of what's causing that, that red sphere to get drawn. It just draws it at the position with a size of 1 uh, and gives it a specific color. This color is kind of a hint uh, because it, it kind of indicates sort of how this whole thing works. The gizmos has a state. And so one of the thing parts of that state is the matrix. Uh, and so we can actually go into this and grab and set a matrix for our object. And what this is going to do is define the rotation, position, and scale of where our object is. And so what we want to do is grab our current objects, transform uh, local to world matrix, which is going to translate local space of the object into world space. Uh, that's a problem because uh, if, I, if I were to go into here, for example, you'll see that it is no longer located there. Uh, it just disappears. Let's reset our rotation. What ended up happening is it's now twice as far away from our position from the origin because we have our position in space and then that is our local position and then we're taking a local position of that and effectively moving a second position away from, from our, our origin. So what we, what we actually want here is the local space, because everything we're doing is in local space at this point. Uh, so we can just provide vector3.0, the, the zero location, and just say start at the origin of this object. Uh, and that makes all of this a lot more easy to understand because we're no longer dealing in spaces in, in anything. We're just talking about where that object is locally. And so we can take this and it should come and pop back to our normal spot. And there we go. And one of the cool things of this is now everything about this is handled by that matrix. So as I rotate this object now, our gizmo is going to rotate. And that works on, on every axis. Another cool feature of this is we didn't just get position and rotation from this. We also got scale. So I can stretch this cube and do all sorts of other fun things to do whatever I need to do to indicate debugging information or whatever. Uh, without having to having to tweak this too much. Uh, so that's sort of a really quick and easy way to do this. Uh, you can do other things with the, the matrices, but that, that that's one of the easy ones. And it makes these gizmos, especially like squares, for example, or cubes, substantially more useful because this is actually handy. <laughs> so, so yeah, hopefully you can use this in your projects, and, and that's it for this video. So until next time, see you, Internet.